Hey everybody, this is Modesto Mahiga Bogan from Purpose and Excellence. I am outside my kids' school, so I won't speak so loudly as I'd like to. This is a random post simply because I'm in between going from one child's class, have an entire hour before the next, and I planned to put out this video a little later um, and a little more structured. But let's 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 work this out. Uh, so this past week I've had conversations with both people that were finishing the master plan class those that have just started um, and somebody who actually skipped it and I you know made it available to her to do it again and she's about to and this is a conversation that has come up it's been a conversation about boundaries um, about being bold and about personal brands um, and so the lady and she knows herself I mean she's gonna be on this video soon and she'll see herself the lady that um, that couldn't continue with the class hey Omari I see you thank you so much for joining in the lady that couldn't um, you know complete the class and she kept on paying so she was paying in installments she kept on paying but she wouldn't show up for the coaching um, and you know, I'd look for her on WhatsApp and I'd say, what are you doing? You know, you're not even, you're not even part of this thing. And so um, this weekend we had a, we, well, we did have a conversation. We just had a text exchange and she says, I realized I don't have boundaries. I have put everyone and everything else ahead of you know, what I need. And here's the thing about really serving and being there for others and compromising is that at some point you'll be depleted. And so whatever you think is so important that you be there for them for or uh, whatever you think you have to give, you are going to quickly run on fumes, have absolutely nothing to give of people if you do not get replenished. And so she said, Modesta, I realized you know, just the reason why I couldn't even show up for this class and I was hiding in a way is because I have absolutely no personal boundaries. So she said, I did the values exercise, which is the very first exercise. Of the master plan class and she says I realize I have absolutely no boundaries and so anyone and anything can come can walk in and out of my life and um, and I you know I'm not establishing I'm not putting up the fences that I need to let the good in and release the bad out anyway long story then I had the first one-on-one -on -one session with somebody who's joining you know the master plan class now and she was saying Modesta just everywhere I go uh, where there's mention of you people say she's really bold uh, you know boldness comes out and so how did you end up being so bold and I said honestly I did not set out to be bold boldness came from and then of course now because she asked me that question I had to think of that like if this has been and truly this has just been my reputation since since school since I was a little kid so where is the boldness coming from and I said so I wasn't out to be bold but what I saw modeled by my mother is values. And so I quickly learned, before I knew the word purpose, before I knew mentorship, before I knew modeling, you know, modeling good behaviors, whatever, I saw my mom live certain values and standards. And so I guess we adopted those without really thinking about it. You know, she wasn't out to mentor coach. She wasn't being deliberate about it. She was just living her life as a mother. Um, hey, Sister Margaret. And so by understanding what my values are, and obviously now I also know what my purpose is, and so I'm living a life of purpose, that then comes out as boldness in situations where people may want me in on something that compromises my values, and I say, no, this far I'll go and not any further. Um, and it doesn't even necessarily have to be something unethical or something illegal. It could just be, you know, seeking all my time at a time when that time is allocated to something else or um, asking for more than what is healthy for me to give. And so I think the boldness comes on that I can, um, I know who I am. Um, I know where I start and end and I know where other people start and end. And I, I endeavor to live a life that respects both self and others, uh, that honors both self and others. And of course, honors God, you know guys that's you know that's major for me and so what she saw as boldness really was the um, whether it was the the outcome or the impact or just the product of my living a life of values and so 
uh, when she said that everywhere I go um, this is this is what I've heard of you for years and I said oh so it's become my personal brand now so boldness it seemed to be uh, you know one of one of the attributes that I hold but I I didn't set out to be bold um, I, you know I came later to realize that I was bold and and um, and of course it takes courage and, and being bold to stand for what you believe and to stand for other people as well um, but initially I think it was more about knowing my values choosing to stand by them counting the cost in advance that you may stand for something and that may rub people up the wrong way and being ready to deal with the consequences of that and so establishing those healthy boundaries for self and for those around me and also you know boldly going out you know s standing in the truth that I that I know of, of God and of me and, and, and of you know all the people that that you know I'm meant to impact and then lastly doing that over and over again then sticks and so she she spoke back to me she sounded back to me what then was my personal brand but I didn't necessarily set out to do that I first of all set out to live a life of values that honors self that honors God that honors others and that I would stand by that no matter what and so therein was the boldness and then eventually doing that over and over you know well it sticks that becomes your rep and and I'm grateful in a positive way that boldness is one of the attributes that is associated with my name and so you know I wonder what you may be struggling with and I wonder where um, things are not going well or even you know things that a lot of people send back to you as you and you're thinking okay that's me it's not like I set out to do it no you did set out to do that but it could well be that you're living by certain values and by living by them over and over and so so for me I would establish those boundaries over and over for somebody else maybe you just don't establish those boundaries over and over and so after a while people are like yeah you know you know her you know him you know and then that becomes your personal brand and so this is just a little short video outside of my kids school in between two Thanksgiving lunches we just finished the one have an hour before the next one to let you know that it really does matter establishing boundaries standing by them boldly you know counting the cost in advance and being able to pay it and then the personal brand is a byproduct of that yeah you can go out and be meaningful about creating a certain personal brand of yourself but you can also just live and do you and after a while what you stand for comes out in the conversations that people have about you so thank you for tuning in oh, one second what happened there what happened there Bamron, Denise, hi, Esther, Mutsa, and Margaret and Omari. Thank you so much for coming in on this short video about boundaries, boldness, and personal brands. Have an amazing, amazing start to your week. Bye.